tree yet. All right. Our King and Savior now draws near. Oh, come, let us adore him. That looks good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. We got chocolate, caramel. Wow. Well, let's turn off our light. Oh, yeah. Which week are we on now for Advent? Three. Three. Third week. We get to do something a little bit different. We get to have a treat this week. Mm -hmm. But that's not the only different thing. Mm -hmm. There's one odd candle in our Advent wreath. The pink one. The pink one. That's our candle for this week. Mm -hmm. What is what does that color make you think of? My favorite color. Yeah, favorite color. Something different from all of them. Something different, something kind of fun and sweet, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like our treat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, today's person is John the Baptist. John the Baptist, he prepared the way. He told people right before Jesus was coming that something special is on its way. So even though, you know, we've had to wait during Advent, we also kind of get to celebrate during Advent because we know what's coming, right? Mm -hmm. Christmas is coming. Jesus' okay. birthday is coming, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. So what do you think about that? Is Advent kind of fun too? Yeah. Yes, it's like getting candy. <laughs> <laughs> candy is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is even better. Mm -hmm. Yes. He gives us the candy. Why don't we say a little prayer? Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you for candy. Mm -hmm. And thank you for coming to save the world. We prepare ourselves during this season and we're just so happy and joyful for Christmas that's right around the corner. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's light our candles. Do two purple, purple ones and a pink. Okay. I want the pink one. Just a second. Oh, come Captive 